Hey what is up guys, Weiwei here and welcome to Minotaur and Wargaming. Today in this video, I'm going to be going over the techniques you'll use to paint your miniatures. If you have been following on from my previous videos, that means your models are assembled, primed and ready for painting. So grab your paint and paintbrushes because I'll be showing you techniques that you can use to paint your miniatures to a tabletop ready standard. If you have not seen my previous videos and your models are either unassembled or you're just wondering how to prime them to get them ready for painting, you can pause this video now and watch my previous tutorials. In this video, I'll be painting a Death Guard Poxwalker, Plague Marine, and the bodies of some Necron Warriors. So first things first, we're going to start off with our base coats. A base coat is the first step in laying the foundation of what your miniature will look like after it has been primed. It is best to paint the base colours on all the areas of your miniature first to get a good idea of where the different details are and how your paint scheme will look overall. The application of a base colour will require a minimum of two thin coats or more to ensure a uniform colour overall, so make sure to thin your paint slightly with some water by adding it gradually with your brush. As you can see, I am painting the base colours of this Death Guard Poxwalker and Plague Marine. With all the base colours on all the clothing and armour, it is easy to see how the model will look before I define each detail later with further techniques. There are also two other ways to apply a base coat of paint for an intended overall colour. This is done by dry brushing or shading. This will be covered later in this video. And up next, dry brushing. Dry brushing is a technique which is a simple and quick way to define details on your miniature. This technique can also add a brush texture effect over a surface. When you dry brush an entire model, it helps draw the colours together for a more natural look on your miniatures. For this technique, I'll be demonstrating the application of a base colour on a Necron Warrior, only using the dry brushing technique. First, you'll need a flat headed or rough old brush. Then, dip the tip of your brush in the colour of your choice. In this case, I'll be using Citadel base colour, Lead Belcher. Once you have paint on your brush, brush off most of the paint on a piece of paper towel till you have a faint amount remaining. Then, with swift motions, brush over the surface of the model. This should leave trace amounts of colour which will build up over time. And there you have it, a Necron Warrior ready for further details and touch-ups. If you want to speed up this process, you can try using a makeup brush. They come in all shapes and sizes, and have more bristles to hold paint even after you have brushed most of it off on your paper towel. Here are both warriors, side by side, two brush types with two outcomes. 
I prefer the makeup brush due to its overall coverage and speed, but you should pick the brush which is best suited for your painting project. Next up, shading. Shading is a technique where, like the name implies, is applying a shade to all the recesses of your model. This will create a sense of depth on any details on your miniature. Shading can also be applied as an overall colour to a model. For example, on this Pox Walker, it was primed with a base coat of Citadel's base colour, Grey Seer, and the pants in Dryad Bark. An overall wash of Citadel's shade colour, Reichland Flesh Shade, is brushed over the skin areas of the model. and Agrax Earthshade brushed over the pants. Be sure not to let the shade pull on flat surfaces, as it will look unnatural and blotchy. Additional colours are added in areas to show wounds and sores on the skin of the model. As you can see on this Death Guard model, I am adding Citadel's shade colour Athonian Camo Shade to all the parts between the plates of armour and the parts of his shoulder pauldron to darken the colours between the two areas, like this light brass and the base colour green. This will also add shadows in these recesses, unifying the two colours in the process. And now, we can focus on layering and highlighting. Layering is a technique in which colours are painted in progressive degrees from light to dark or vice versa to build up a colour and pick out details. In this example, I'll be painting this Death Guard Plague Marine's mutated growths. The base colour used was Citadel's Bugman's Glow then a layer of Citadel's Pink Horror, and finally a 50-50 mix of Citadel's Cadian Flesh Tone and Pink Horror. This gives the mutations a transitional colour from dark to light. Edge highlighting on the other hand is more direct, where a thin line of brighter colour is applied to the edges on the parts of the model. Usually this is to give an idea of where the source lighting is on the model and to further emphasise the difference between the illuminated and shadowed areas of the model. For example, I am edge highlighting the edges of this Plague Marine's armour panels, as this will show as a more pronounced light edge on the model. Another way to add a quick highlight is once again by dry brushing. For example, on these Necron Warriors, after I shade them with Citadel's Nuln Oil, I then dry brush a lighter metallic silver over them. This is Citadel's Layer Paint Iron Breaker. Once dry, I also add another layer of dry brushing with Necron Compound. This creates a light and dark contrast between the joint and bare metallic surfaces on the model. Another example are these sharp bone mutations on this Death Guard Poxwalker and Plague Marine. These mutations can also be highlighted with a quick dry brush to differentiate the light and dark bone colours. With these techniques in mind, 
Just take your time and continue to practice, and your miniatures will look more alive with their fresh coats of paint, like these ones here. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button below. And if you have any friends which are also starting out in a hobby, please make sure to share this with them. For more videos, hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell notification icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you want to follow me on social media, all the links will be in the description below. Peace out.